today I'm in Australia and uh, this is Bribey Island over here, Palmerstone Passage in Queensland and we're hunting wild game. Check this out. Bouncing kangaroos. Got a few over here. So let's see if we can catch us some roo because it's wild meat. Let's go get it. Alright guys. Come on. Hey. Come here. Come on mate. You on the barbecue tonight, buddy? Where you going? Hey, don't walk away from me. You're making me look like a fool. Alright, I'm gonna go eat your mates. Alright guys. Who's on the barbecue tonight? Which one is? You look pretty tasty. Come on. Come here. Come here. Hey. Guys, don't walk away. Hey, you just you're making a fool of me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Come here. Stop bouncing away from me. <laughs> Come here, you guys. Come here. That's it. You. All right. On the. These bloody kangaroos are hard to catch. I don't know what's going on here. It's a kangaroo, and I'm about to pounce on it. Watch this. Come here, buddy. What? Well, I made a mistake. I shouldn't use my bicycle to catch a kangaroo. So what I've done is I've taken off my shoes. Barefoot style, primal, paleo, pure instinct. I want to get myself one of them kangaroos. 10 second all out sprint. I should do it easy. I'm pretty fit. There's my target over there. Let's do it. Oh no. Well, it's, it's a bit intimidating. Not even, not even close to it. I mean, I hesitated for a minute there because the kangaroo wasn't running for me, but uh, that could, that could have almost been dangerous. I could have got my stomach split open by the kangaroo kicking me. So, so I'm going to have to go home and eat some plants because these freaking kangaroos are too hard to catch. And I'm fit. You know, I'm freaking fit. I'm, you know, running marathons, you know, winning 24-hour mountain bike races. I'm fit as, and I can't even run down a kangaroo, which is like almost touching distance from me. I can't even catch it. You know, a dog could. You know, a large dog could. But a human? No way. We'd have to use a weapon. We have to use a weapon, and even then, it's risky because a kangaroo, if they kick you, it could be game over. You know, it could be game over. Can kangaroo could rip your, rip your stomach out, could rip your whole gonads off with one kick. So interesting. So I'll go home and have some plants. Don't you love it when <laughs> overweight people who are obese can't even run? <laughs> can't even run. Go. I need my protein. I need my protein. I can't be a, a vegan because I need my protein. <laughs> and the animals that they're eating are eating vegan foods, eating plant foods. <laughs> So these people who are obese or even some fit people, I mean, I've got fit people who can't even catch a kangaroo. I mean, it's sort of like, so what are you doing? You know, it's sort of, uh, it's quite entertaining. So again, it's, you know, people eat kangaroos in Australia. It's our national emblem. We eat our national emblem. We shoot them in the head with shotguns and, and rip their, step, step on their joeys and eat them. It's a, it's a pretty funny thing. So some of the locals here are looking at me like I'm a bit weird. And uh, so I asked one of the locals before, I said, do you eat many of these kangaroos? You know, because lots of free meat here. And she's like, oh no, we don't eat them. That's, that's our local local tourist attraction. And I'm like, tourist attraction? Just eat it. You know what I mean? It's like having a mangoes as a tourist attraction. And oh, we don't eat the mangoes because that's our tourist attraction. Come on. Common sense, please. I was thinking it's funny. We'll see who's laughing when I'm thinking about my hunting dogs, my 12 gauge shotgun, and my twin turbo four wheel drive, and my mates, eh? A few beers. And we'll see who's laughing. So, I got the impression that if I harmed one of those kangaroos, their precious little tourist attractions on two legs, that I'd probably get my head kicked in by all the local rednecks <laughs> who are go shooting kangaroos in the weekend anyway. <laughs> you just gotta laugh at the craziness of the world sometimes, because if you let it get you down, you're just gonna burn out. So you just gotta laugh and uh, transmutate the frustration and the fascination of how you can be part of the the solution versus part of the problem and uh, so my suggestion is <laughs> do anything it takes to avoid being a redneck and uh, increase the peace go vegan thanks for watching